mom is from the Cherokee people, and then my dad, his mother, was a Shawnee Potawatomi. That's all I wanted to wear as a kid. So I had to learn how to repair them out of necessity for myself first, and then just kept going, and then people just started asking me, and that's how it took off. I've been crazy, not just about moccasins, but as you can see, dresses and shirts. And even when I was a little kid, I dressed the entire neighborhood. Didn't matter where we lived, everyone was turned into an Indian, and I've never stopped. <laughs> Get your hide, and then you do this. You rub that hide back and forth and back and forth, and you have to stretch them. You have to stretch its skin. And then you slap the old buffalo hide, the big hide, on the table here, and you get your patterns that you drew. You gotta draw all your own patterns. I've got box loads of them. So then you lay your patterns on there, but you have to feel the hide for stretch and thickness and boo-boos. And then you go for the toughest, thickest part you can get. It's all mathematical. It really is. Moccasins are very mathematical. I'm very fortunate because I get to do something I'm crazy about and I've never gotten tired of it and I do it seven days a week. It shows now. That's why the work is in museums and I'm not even dead yet and that is pretty far out. So it really is a lot of work that people don't see. Every pair is different. There's no fast way to make a moccasin. There just isn't. <laughs> There's no easy way out. Moccasins will teach you if you have not exercised or anything and your ankles fall over or your feet cave in and you walk funny, Moccasins will tell you that right away. You need to get some exercise, so get out there and go for a hike. <laughs>